I'm Drew Bisky, and I'm gonna show you what $10 can get you in Panama, my 191st country. Whoa! Bienvenidos a la ciudad de Panamá. Welcome to Panama City. A lot of people told me they can't believe I haven't been to Panama yet because it's such a hub for flying around Latin America. But it's true. This is my very first time smelling Panamanian air and witnessing Panamanian culture, and I'm having a wonderful time so far. Panama City. What a place. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I came to Panama not to explore Panama City. I am here to spend time with the indigenous tribes, which you'll find out in a few days from now. But this city does have a lot to offer, and it's surprisingly pleasant. This city's actually really cool. There's surprises everywhere. All these ancient ruins, markets everywhere, street food vendors. After all, half of Panama's four million residents live here. Thanks to the Panama Canal and the service sector, the country has grown twice as fast as its neighbors over the last 15 years. It's oddly modern here with so many skyscrapers, almost feeling like a Singapore-style hub for financial services. Believe it or not, Panama's currency is the US dollar, so there aren't any exchange rates to deal with here. But things are a lot more expensive than I imagined. I'm here in Panama City's charming district called Casco Viejo. It's time to see how many things I can get with 10 bucks. All right, I found a cool local market here. I'm gonna go inside and see what I can find. Pretty much every block in the old city has a market like this, selling all kinds of Panamanian things. This place is like the center of tourism land. <laughs> this bracelet was the first thing that caught my eye. Hola, ¿cuánto cuesta esto? Es tres dólares. Tres, bonita, pero caro. <laughs> Dos dólares. Dale, Dos? Still getting ripped off, but it's okay. Of course, I had to ask him to put it on. Gracias, amigo. Okay, amigo. Ciao. Ciao. I know I just got ripped off with this bracelet, but sometimes it's nice to give back to the people here. That's kind of the point of the videos that I'm doing. Not only to show the culture, but also to help the local businesses. So it doesn't really bother me that much. Alrighty, it is lunchtime and I am hungry. We're gonna try to get some local street food that I see here in the square. Don't know what they're selling, but I know they're selling something. So let's check it out. Pollo, por favor. Pollo solo. Arroz no. Yeah, este. It's been shockingly difficult to find any street food here, so I'll have to settle with this Creole meal, which isn't that bad at all. Cassava is all over Latin America, it's pretty good. Just like potatoes, exactly. And chicken. Excellent chicken, I really like it. Everywhere you go around here, you can find good chicken, so it's no exception. All over Panama City, you can see these little street vendors selling this snow cone thing, which we had in Dominican Republic, but I think here they're a bit different, so I'm gonna try one right now. Hola, hola. ¿Cuánto cuesta por uno? Uno cincuenta. What's the what flavor do you want to try? Uh, and what should I get? Uh, que es muy popular. Mango. Por favor. Uh, Philippines, Estados Unidos. You said? In Panama City. This is what all the street vendors are selling: snow cones, or as they call it, raspado. <laughs> got my GoPro nice and icy. It's a fascinating process that goes into each cup. First, he chisels a huge block of ice, then adds the sweet mango flavor, along with another layer of ice, more flavor, and topped off with condensed milk. Now that's a treat. Only 150. We'll check it out Keep it, it's okay. I don't know what to try first, the straw or the spoon, but we're gonna go for the spoon. Oh man. It literally tastes like I'm eating a mango. Mmm! Good? Mmm! Oh my god. I was enjoying it and Deanna has just stolen it from me and finished it without even asking for my permission. So clearly she likes it more than me. Okay, so I'm here in the middle of the main square and I met Flavio. How you doing, man? Good. And uh, I'm kind of struggling to find more things to buy, so he offered to take me around. So are you born and raised here in Panama? Yeah, Panama. 100%. From the city? Yes. What do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. And nice. I'm currently studying a master's degree in law, in Chinese law, in Beijing. But because of the virus, I'm here right now. So right in front of us, there's like a protest going on. I'm not even going to ask questions. I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of people protesting right now.
After a very interesting turn of events, we wandered around the colorful streets as the sun set over Panama's beautiful capital. I have two bucks left to spend and my thirst is calling. All right, bro, it's nighttime now. We've had a great day and I want to get a drink. I'm thirsty. Yeah, sure, bro. There are plenty of bars here. Yeah? All right, here we go. Let's find a bar. Let's go. Buenas. Buenas. No Gracias. So we found this really cool bar. Um, it's kind of like this outdoor street in Casco Viejo. This is the old city and it's beautiful to basically walk. Cheers. Cheers. How do you do the cheers here? Do you have like a... <laughs> <laughs> do, you have a do you have a way to cheers in this country or not really? Yeah, like not a bajo, I didn't throw. Well, didn't... yeah, the same, but I mean, I think everyone has that. So you don't have that, you just say cheers. Yeah, salud. Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. Ask you. Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> How you doing? Where are you from? Panama. Oh wow. Good time. Good time. Todo bien. Todo bien. Do we, you want to say anything about Panama? Anything? Come to Panama. This is the best country in the world. <laughs> so good after a long day. Oh man. In total, I was only able to get a bracelet, a chicken and cassava lunch, a delicious mango raspao, and a tasty beer for exactly $10. And that's what $10 can get you in Panama. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as how they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.